Hello and welcome. I am Brigu. I'll be taking you to our website project built around a team leveraging technology to enhance customer experience. Now from the very start, we wanted to do something that doesn't just work well, but also looks and feels different. That's why we chose a bold and somewhat unconventional design style called New Brutalism. Unlike the clean minimal trends like glass morphism or skew morphism that we see everywhere, New Brutalism is raw, loud and refreshingly honest. It's got no soft gradients, no blurred shadows, no rounded corners, just for the sake of it. Everything is sharp, functional and real and this is where our website really stands out. Take a look at the home page. Right away, you will notice the bright and highly contrasting colors. These aren't just random picks. They are chosen to be visually bold and to help guide the user's attention where it matters. Now, talking about the customer experience, we had to research upon how to pinpoint our audience. Our target audience is the younger generation, mainly the young millennials and the youth. And we think that this visual language speaks to them really well. It's energetic, direct and expressive. But it's not all just looks. Behind the scene, the site is designed for speed, responsiveness and accessibility. Now, let me give you a walkthrough to our website. So, right at the start, you can see that this is the home page and for the layout we have went with a two column layout where on one side you can see that there is a big picture on the other side you can see that there is call to action buttons and a text that gives us the context of the website organize your wish list visualize your dreams so our website wish grid is basically a website where you can create cards or store wishes that you want to purchase in future or you want to fulfill in future so this is what our website is about it keeps the track of all your wishes in one place now let me scroll down you can see that we have used some animations this is an infinite scroll animation and then here are some small animations this helps to grasp the attention of viewers especially the younger generations and if we scroll further down you can see that these sections are having some micro interaction within them which helps in enhancing the customer experience now let's go to the learn more section or you can see the about section so this is our about section where it demonstrates our story and how our website works you can add out our wish list and organize and then track and achieve them in near future and this is our team you can clearly see and then we have the tech stack with which we achieved or build this website html tailwind css javascript and php faq section that's a mandatory section and this is a contact us button if i click here you can see that this tells me to pick an app to which i can mail now proceeding back to the home page you can see that here only three options are available in the navbar home about and login now let me log in i can log in from here or from the navbar as well let me try this action button you can see it says login to wish grid so for new users you'll obviously have to sign up using this format where an extra information that is your username is to be inputted and then i'll simply log in because i already have signed up you can see that this is my data this is the database wish grid underscore db and we are having two sections one is users and one is wishes this table should help us maintain the database i'll proceeding back here simply enter my credentials and after entering my credentials i'll simply log in once you log in you can see that i am directly redirected to the dashboard section and you can obviously see that new options in the navbar is dashboard completed and settings and logout these were hidden initially and once you log in you will be able to see this and the second thing you can see that you can check the database that i have given my username as dexter and if i check here you can see that the same username has been displayed here this helps in giving the customer a personalized feeling proceeding forward you can see that i have added a wish card here jaguar obviously the car and then the category is other and i have four options so moving to the options let me just show you how we can add a wish you have this button add new wish I'll simply click here for example i am going to purchase a perfume i'll add the name here the reception is optional i'll enter the price was ten dollars click the category home and the priority as high now for image or uh, this is obviously optional if i save the wish like this you can see that it will be saved with this thumbnail that is uploaded to the code now i can edit from this option i have this image of a perfume i'll just copy the image link then i'll paste it here let me paste it in the item link as well and if i save the wish you can see that the perfume image is loaded here and now to show you why i have added the item link as well if i click this button it will redirect me to the image now if i use any other image suppose i'm using this image and if i edit the link 
can see the this image is still the same but if i click on redirect it will take me to the other image this is helpful for the user to store from which website they are storing or going to purchase the item or wish now coming to this options you can see that i have two other options now uh, before that i can show you the database if i go to my database you can see i have these options i'll show you the latest one the jaguar one and the perfume these are added and these are under the status of pending these are the data that i have added moving forward if i want to delete something for suppose i don't want this wish anymore i'll simply delete this a pop-up comes and then i press ok and see this post appears saying wish deleted successfully if we go back to the database i'll replace the database you can see that the jaguar option is no more it is simply deleted and for the other option the last option that is the this button is known as mark as complete button once i press this like suppose my wish is completed i'll be redirected to this section the completed section let me just show you i'll mark it as complete wish marked as completed and i move to this section where i already had some previous items a scrunchie a laptop novel and perfume and these are all marked as completed and obviously these filters are also working i can show you for suppose i want to search a laptop see the laptop appears perfume the perfume appears similarly these functions are also working for suppose i have your home books tech and clothes category if i select the books category only the books will appear if i press tech only the tech will appear and similarly this uh, order is in the newest order let me go to the oldest order and you can see that this was added first and this was added latest and it will be displayed in the last and let me show you the price option as well this is the lowest price item and then this then this and then this I simply go from low to high and you can see that it is displayed in the ascending order okay going back to the dashboard you can see that this section appears when there are no wishes and i can also add a wish from this section and then the setting section we have a setting section that is simple yet functional because this is giving you a privilege to view your website in the dark mode as well you can see the theme i have pressed this button and the whole website is sent into the dark mode i can go to the home page and see that this works completely fine everywhere i can go to the dashboard and see i can go to the about section as well and everything is functional and working now let me go to the light mode and now the data management section this is another functionality that we added this gives you the option to suppose like i have this list right with all these four items and then i'll go to settings and then export to csv it says that do i want to save this file which create data.csv i'll press ok and i can show you that under the download section this csv sheet appeared and if i open with excel you can see that these were my items these are the items that i had in my wish list and this will be downloaded in the csv format and if i want to clear all my data i can simply press this button now let me show you the responsiveness of my website using this long section you can see you can see that various sections are here and this should work well in the responsive mode as well I'll go to the inspect section into the responsive section let me place this docker at the bottom if i bring this like this you can see that this is working fine you can see the snap section as well if i go from here to here this will disappear into a hamburger menu that opens when i click and if i click somewhere else it will be closed i can show you the whole website but these div sections are working fine you can see it's fully responsive i can go from here suppose i want to go to the home you see everything is working fine i have these buttons here the emoji scroll section yes so this is all about our website thank you